All right, today's video is on a question I see posted over and over again in, in comments and on forums online regarding 3D printed models, especially miniatures. And that question is, should you take the supports or remove the supports from your models before or after you cure them? And the answer is before, because once you cure this thing, this thing's uh, fresh out, of, fresh off the build plate of um, my, my 3D resin printer, but like, see it's squishy and soft and gross and I still have to clean it. But then after I'm done, after, after I'm done cleaning it, before I cure it, I'm gonna take the supports off. The reason being, they're squishy and removable and once I put them in some heated cleaning fluid, they'll just peel right off. If I cure this thing, these will be pretty much resin slash rock hard and secured to my model. So each one that I either cut off with blue nippers or break off is gonna leave a pockmark or a bump all over my model, and I don't want that. When you when you do it, uh, when they're nice and soft, they, they come right off, especially if you use a method uh, that uses a warm fluid, either water or some type of, you know, rubbing alcohol or whatever you use to clean your models. Uh, yeah, it's just, you want, it, you want to take your supports off before. Look at, I mean, look at how many supports are on this guy. This is a, this is a Null from Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I mean, if these things were rock hard, you would never get them off and you'd have, you know, 30 or 40 or 50 pock marks on your guy. Even, even worse, you can't even see this model. There's so many supports on it. This is a cockatrice. It's like that, you know, the magical rooster chicken that petrifies you like a, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Like a basilisk, right? So th it has so many supports on it that it's encased in supports. If I were to harden this thing and cure it, I would never, it'd be like trying to defuse a bomb, like cutting all these wires and stuff. And you, you would never be able to it'd just be more work than it was worth to get this model out. So always remove the supports before you cure, not after you cure, unless you have a lot of free time and want your models to look super beat up.